Hey, hey, hey. Time for another Out of This World story from our space. When we find out about a cheating partner, it's not just the future that is suddenly uncertain. Your everyday life changes too. People tend to cling to habits and routines. This gives us security. Today on our space, we see just how earth shattering it can be. Our first OP's life is thrown into chaos. I think my wife is cheating on me with my coworker and I honestly don't know what to do. So to start off, I don't really like using platforms like this, but I need to let this out and vent somehow, so here I go. I'm 33 male, and my wife, 30 female. Been together for 11 years, and I thought everything was good between us, until recently. For some context, I work as a dispatcher for truckers, and it's a pretty good job. I get good benefits, and I make enough where we both can be comfortable. My wife had a job with building gaming computers, but she lost the job due to cutbacks, so I've been the sole earner, and I've been picking up a lot of hours. And one day, my car battery died on me, so I had my wife take me to work. And when we made it to the parking lot, I saw my coworker, Andrew. I waved at him, and he walked over to say hello. And that's when I introduced him to my wife. And she got out of the car to shake his hand. And he looked at me and said that you never told me that your wife was so beautiful. She blushed, and I laughed, not thinking about it, saying, yeah, I'm lucky to have her. And then we both walked into work after I kissed my wife goodbye. A few days later, I got my car good and running, so I've been going to work like normal. But during lunch, I couldn't help but notice my wife's car in the parking lot. So I walked towards it and see her and Andrew talking and eating lunch in her car. I got upset, but kept it cool and knock on her window. She opens the door and says, Oh, I forgot to tell you that me and Andrew were having lunch today together. Then Andrew said, I hope you're not angry. I took a deep breath and said, No. And I turned around and walked away from the car because if I said anything else, it was going to start an argument. But I can feel my wife getting frustrated because I walk away like that so... Later that day, when I got home, she blew up on me, saying that I embarrassed her in front of Andrew, and I said, why do you even care, and when did you even start hanging out with him? She said, I'm a grown-ass woman, and I don't have to tell you crap, and then walked off, and since then, she's been distant, and I noticed she's been on her phone more, calling and texting her friends, but I just know that it's Andrew, but I don't want to accuse her, then I'm wrong, and I look like an a-hole, but at the same time, I want to say something, I don't know what to do. I didn't think it'd blow up like this, but I'd like to thank you guys for the advice and support. I talked to my friend and he gave me an Apple AirTag I'm going to put in my wife's car and trail to see if I can find anything and collect evidence, so I don't get effed in court if we end up divorcing. But a part of me doesn't want to do it because I don't know if I can handle the pain. Me and this woman went through a lot and been through a lot of crap, and I can't believe she's really going to throw it away this easily, but I'm still going to have to do it. I'll try to update again when I have the time. Quick side note for those following along the text. This is really not great English, so I'm doing my best to make up for confusing continuity. Appreciate the patience. Okay, now on to the update. Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I posted, but so much happened during the time span, and I finally found the time to update. First off, I'd like to thank all of you guys for the support and advice. It really helped me. Quick recap. So my wife had been hanging out with my coworker, Andrew, without telling me, and when I found out, she basically started getting distant from me so I suspected that she's been cheating on me with him. When I started to suspect it, my friend gave me this airdrop, and I hid it in my wife's car and followed her. She told me that she was going to see a friend, but I didn't believe it, so I followed her in my friend's car to make sure she couldn't spot me, and after a 20-minute drive, she drove up to a hotel. I'm not going to lie, I felt sick and my heart kept pounding. I was really hoping that I was wrong and she was seeing friends, but instead, I saw Andrew waving at my girlfriend, and then I see her running and jumping on this guy and kissing him. I was so hurt and angry, I wanted to get out and beat Andrew's butt and tell my wife to get all of her crap out of the house, but I didn't. Instead, I took out my phone and took some pictures and drove off when I saw them walk in the hotel. I went home and cried, screamed, yelled, and punched a hole in the wall. I was feeling too many emotions at once. I called my friend and he came over, and I showed him the pictures and started crying again. I screamed, 11 years down the effing drain. My friend gave me a hug and told me to get a lawyer and to keep stacking up evidence against her. I don't know if I can keep up the face anymore, but I told my friend I'll try. So during these past weeks, I've been stacking up evidence and keeping my distance. I've seen them go to restaurants, movies, hotels, and every time it hurt, but I tough it out and she always told me she's going out with her friends or family, but I never called her and said, okay. I thought I can keep it up for at least a few more days, especially because the lawyer I'm seeing that I have more than enough evidence to make sure I win and keep everything when we divorce. But I think I messed up yesterday. 
Yesterday was my birthday and I wasn't really feeling it. My wife didn't even tell me happy birthday, but her parents did. And when I went to work, my coworkers got me a cake and some gifts. I tried holding back the tears because for a moment, I forgot about everything at least until I saw Andrew. He got me a gift and I fake a smile and said, thank you. And when I opened it, it was the comic Batman, Death of the Family. And I actually was surprised because no one at work knew I was into comics and DC was my favorite. And when I told Andrew that, he said my wife told him. And then all I saw was red. Next thing I know, my coworkers are holding me back and Andrew is in the corner covering his nose and yelling, what the F? And then I screamed, I know you've been screwing my wife. Everyone got silent and looked at Andrew and he tried explaining it to me, but I didn't care. All I wanted to do was beat his butt until he stopped moving. But then my boss came in and sent Andrew home and took me in his office. And I told him everything and showed him some of the pictures. He apologized to me and gave me some time off to sort everything out and he will deal with Andrew. Crap really went south when I got home and my wife was waiting and she blew up on me saying that I was wrong for doing that to Andrew and that she'll talk him out of pressing charges for hitting him and kept yelling and yelling saying, Andrew makes me feel like a real woman and treats me right and knows how to make me feel special. And I finally popped and I just yelled, I don't give an F. She looked surprised and went silent and I kept going saying, if he makes you feel special, go live with him and have him support you because I'm done. And then she had the nerve to cry and say that she was sorry. Plus, she tried saying how Andrew caught her at a moment of weakness, but I just took a deep breath and told her to get a lawyer because we're getting a divorce. And she really tried to apologize and said that she can't afford one and that we need to work on us. But I just looked at her and told her to pack up and she kept crying and begging. But I just got her suitcase and called her sister to come pick her up. But she locked herself in the bathroom saying she won't come out until I was willing to work things out with her. I kept telling her that I didn't want to work anything out and we need space because when I see her, I feel angry and hurt. And she finally got out and apologized. And then she packed her crap and waited outside for her sister. And now I'm finally in the house alone and I can't stop crying. I feel so many things and I just don't know anymore. I'm going to see my lawyer tomorrow. And sorry if I was all over the place with my post. I'm just feeling horrible and emotional, but I am planning on seeing a therapist soon. I'll definitely update everyone once all this blows over. I'd like to thank everyone again for the advice and support. Our first bit of community response comes from Mazimo1. Make sure you divorce her. She only wants to work it out because she's homeless. Typing without thinking says, Sounds like Andrew caught her at a couple of hundred moments of weakness. Her butt needs to bounce once and land on the curb. Odd damage 4689 chimes in. The audacity of this woman, for F's sake. First, she insults you, belittles you, disrespect, and compared to him. Then, cries and wants to fix the marriage. Glad you told her you are done. She can't afford a lawyer? Too bad. Andrew can take care of her now. Don't dare you take her back. Kick her to the curb. Expose her cheating butt to family and friends with evidence so she can't paint you as the bad guy. He got me a gift and I faked a smile and said thank you. And when I opened it, it was the comic Batman Death of the Family. Death of the Family. What a scumbag. Can't blame you that you kicked his butt. Hope your boss will have the balls and get him fired. He caught her at the moment of weakness, so it's him who started? Little validation and attention and she opens her legs. Did your soon-to-be ex-wife explain how she got his number? How long have they been cheating? He had his fun. I bet he drops her like a hot potato. At least you don't have kids. Divorce should be easier. Keep full no contact. Follow the lawyer's advice. Don't drink. Stay alone in the house. Get out and meet friends and family. Take care. Eek! Honestly, when you're married, OP, your significant other should never entertain someone else like your wife was. When Andrew commented about your wife... It was completely disrespectful to you. She should have turned it down in that instant. He's a filthy pig to have done that. And your wife should have never gotten involved with him. If she had thought she wasn't being treated right by you from the beginning, she should have talked to you about that before and not gotten herself involved with another man. That's a big no-no. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Or test drive someone else while you're still with your spouse. It doesn't work like that. You had every right to get heated and emotional in that moment. He was definitely instigating and looking for a reaction from you trying to rub the affair in your face. Go speak to your lawyer and start the process of ending things. You don't deserve to be treated like that. What are your thoughts? What should OP's next steps be? Meanwhile, the stages of grief are different for everyone, especially this next OP. I laughed and said, good luck. Three weeks ago, my, 30 female, boyfriend, 31 male, of seven years and new fiance were choosing our wedding venue. We had a tentative date selected, 9 22 
and wanted to see the venue before committing. Afterwards, we got lunch and reminisced about falling in love seven years ago in the small beach town where our wedding was to be held. That night, he told me he couldn't wait to be my husband. What I didn't know was that he had screwed his married coworker in the back of his truck the night before. That following week, he was off. I thought it was wedding jitters, but he was corresponding with the wedding planner about deposits for the venue. He even approved one of my wedding dress ideas. Intimacy and everything else seemed normal. Friday, one week after he had cheated on me, I found him in the middle of the night in our bathroom crying. He dropped the bomb on me. I was stunned, floored, just in shock. We've been together for seven years, lived together for five. We have two dogs together. I told him to tell me everything and he sang like a canary. They were in love. They were soulmates, probably. He's known her for three months and they've never interacted outside of work, according to him. But they have amazing chemistry. She's been with her husband for 10 years and was officially married last summer. But he's a bad man who doesn't deserve her. He neglects her. Apparently, the plan was for him to leave me and then wait for her to divorce her husband so that they could be together. I asked him if she'd already started the separation process. He said he wasn't sure, but she told her husband about them and he was okay with it. The whole thing was so ridiculous that I laughed and wished him luck. This is not going to end well. At least the amusement from this mess will keep me distracted from the fact that my life is falling apart around me. The community reacts as follows. Makah87 starts us off. He will beg for you to take him back once his affair partner informs him she is not going to get a divorce. So long with a person can make you feel like grass is greener on the other side. He will find out it isn't. Stay strong, OP. Hatersaurus Rex chimes in. My dad did this when I was small. Divorced my mom and left her with five kids and no car to be with a 19-year-old married girl from work. He was in his early 30s at the time. Turns out she wasn't really planning to divorce her husband from my dad. So back he came crawling after a year or so. My mom, being stuck with five kids and only ever having been a stay-at-home mom for 20 years, took him back. It was her only realistic option, but it took a massive toll on everyone and is at the heart of our family dynamic even today. Rush Maddock has a thought. There's a lot of my story in yours. Insecure liars and weak people tell these kinds of tales to one another. When the affair partner's wife reached out to me to tell me what was happening, I found out my ex had told the affair partner that we were a marriage for show, slept in separate bedrooms, and were only together because of the kids. That was news to me. Laugh, cry, take your time, and then move on. It won't be what he thinks it is, and if he comes crawling back, remember how pathetic he was in those moments. Sorry, OP. You don't deserve this. Our next comment is from Rage Sadness All in One. Tell the husband. Guarantee he doesn't know. The OP responds, told him he did not know. He and the affair partner are now separated. He's devastated. They were apparently trying for a baby. Next up, from Yelling Banana Bear. Oh man, I can relate. My husband of 16 years with four kids together decided to have an affair for over a year. D-Day was a little more than a month ago. I kicked him out and he is living with the affair partner who is due with his baby this month. He is so full of remorse. He misses me and his kids so much. But him and the affair partner work together and they have a connection, which is basically the excitement of a new relationship. And now that excitement is gone, he sees who the better person is. And it's not the affair partner, but too late, I won't stand for it. See you later. His life is now immersed in regret and shame. He is miserable and it's all his fault. The OP follows back. How could it be the affair partner? Hint, the cheater is not the better person. I'm so sorry this has happened to you and your family. I cannot imagine going through this with children. Update. Like D-Day, all over again. Turns out my ex-fiance moved his affair partner right in after he unceremoniously left our home while she waited for her divorce to be finalized. Now apparently, they are happily dating. He showed up to a happy hour with her and tried to pawn her off as his fresh new girlfriend. I wasn't there, but my friends were. Apparently words were said, and the lie he and affair partner tried to pass off was crushed. I just found out about this as someone from the happy hour called to check on me. I had no idea any of this was happening and certainly haven't been asking for updates. I've been no contact with him since he left and trying to move on with my life. It's been a very hard transition. There's no way his new life is better. I got to keep the dogs, the house, and 90% of my friends, and my life isn't better. So how in any logical world can his? Guess I was wrong. I just feel very numb right now. It feels like D-Day all over again. 
where I find out the world I think I'm living in isn't reality. I wish people would stop saying, you dodged a bullet, because it feels like I was just shot in the chest. Gah, I'm so sorry, OP. What you're feeling is totally natural. It's excruciating. It's brutal, and there's no way around it. You had envisioned this whole future that no longer exists, and what he did is inexcusable. Overcoming the pain of separation takes one thing above all, time. It is an emotional wound that must first be allowed to heal. The desire for routine extends to all areas of life, including the partnership. After separation, the usual routines are disturbed. This can lead to insecurity and deep despair. You literally feel as if your mental survival is threatened. As hard as it may sound, you have to go through the pain of breaking up to get through it. Try to find an outlet to express your feelings. Talk to someone you can confide in, like your best friend, your sister, or your mom. Sometimes just talking to someone who understands and listens to you helps. Also, words of encouragement from loved ones are a balm for the soul. In addition to the excruciating pain of separation, the end of a relationship often triggers self-doubt off. Was it me? Am I not good enough? Stop. Detach from this emotional self-defeat. Instead, start with loving self-care. Especially when the soul is suffering, you should do good to yourself, OP. Thank you for joining us today on Our Space. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, please let us know what you thought of today's content. See you soon. Dead.